ladies and gentlemen of the FGC. How's it going? I am Fighters Gen Webmaster Frank Joseph, wishing you guys a happy 2021, if I haven't yet. I hope the new year is going well for you guys so far. It's been pretty good for me. Uh, it's been a really long time since I've done a video like this, a vlog, whatever you want to call it. So forgive me if this video shatters your expectations or not. But by all means, please lower your expectations because I do not know what I'm doing. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I really enjoy working behind the scenes. Um, bringing you guys the latest news, articles, artwork, and entertainment on fightersgeneration.com. And thank you for visiting my website, by the way. I really would like to personally thank those of you who visit the Fighters Generation website on the daily. You guys are what keep the website going. Uh, hope you guys like my articles. I try to post at least one a day. Um, you probably wouldn't believe me if I told you how much time I spend uh, working on this website, updating random things. Uh, by the way, if you turn ad blockers off, sometimes this video slider will uh, appear and uh, try to post unique content here occasionally, so check that out. Quick shout outs to those of you who follow on Twitter as well. Really appreciate all your likes and retweets on my posts. You guys are awesome on Instagram as well. I've met some really cool people over the past couple of years on social media, so I appreciate you guys. And of course, of course, thanks, a big thanks to all 25,000 of you for subscribing on YouTube. It's been a trip. And you know you're old as hell when you have videos that are 10 years old. <laughs> TFG's greatest hits. Maybe uh, some of you guys know me from these videos here. Uh, you know, in 2020, I didn't release that many videos. Um, you know, 2020 was what it was, but I had fun making the videos that I uh, did have time to make. I did some Soul Calibur, uh, Guilty Gear, uh, a little bit of Sam Show, Tekken, of course. But, you know, I wanted to release a lot more, and that's my plans for... Uh, Moving forward, I want to be able to, you know, do a, a lot more. But I really want you guys to know I appreciate all, all 25.5k of you who are subscribing on YouTube. I'm going to do more videos like this, so thanks for your support, as always. I think it's time for a change in evolution, and I want to build this, this connection. I think there's a lot of value in it whether you are an old school fighting game player or whether you're a new player. Uh, this is something that I think is a, is a special connection. And hey, if you're out there, especially if you're an old school guy, leave a comment. You guys tell me what you wanna see from these vlogs that I'm gonna do this year. It's a lot, a lot I wanna talk about. A lot of different topics I can get into involving fighting games uh, and other things too. In any case, I've got to start somewhere. And uh, what better place to start than uh, a video reaction. Reaction video. I've never done a reaction video. I think they're fake and scripted. Um, but let's at least talk about how KOF 15 is looking. Uh, I'll be honest with you, like the first trailer was okay. I like the cinematics. The, uh, the graphics definitely look improved over KOF 14, obviously. Kind of reminds me of uh, Street Fighter 5 a little bit. It's got like that, uh, that shine that Street Fighter 5 first had when it came out. So I like the look of the game. It's brighter, uh, the hair looks better. Uh, costumes, the outfits look good. You know I love 2D sprites as much as any old school fighting game fan, but you know, as visually groundbreaking as KOF 12 and 13 was, is, uh, 
you know, those games almost bankrupted SNK. And it took them such a long time to make, you know, having to draw every frame. Uh, adding new characters to the game took them forever. And, you know, in this new era, you know, to stay competitive and, and be able to add new content to the game, uh, you know, going 3D in this engine is a much more realistic thing to do. So I'd say even if you're not a fan of 3D graphics for KOF, you know, give it a chance. You know, this game already looks way better than 14 did in its uh, debut trailer. So that's a good sign. Alright, now let's talk about this badass Iori trailer. <laughs> Damn, what a great new look for Iori. Based on his classic KOF 2000 attire, uh, striker version. Hell yeah. Fan service. You know, I like the new particle effects. Looks good. Looks sharp. Um, actually showed some combos this time. Um, yeah, SNK is going in the right direction with these trailers. Uh, damn. Don't interrupt the laugh. I think I've mained Iori in every KOF. He's my brother. He's my brother. <laughs> might be my favorite Iori outfit ever. So that's a good start. It's like something Heihachi would wear, you know. If, if Iori was ever going to be in Tekken, he should wear this outfit. Right? I never really played KOF that competitively. Uh, the closest I ever came to, you know, playing KOF competitively was CVS2. Because I played that game competitively. <laughs> Uh, I used the Ori in that game too, um, but I always have fun with KOF games as like a challenge to try to hit the most advanced combos you can. The combo system has always been fun in a KOF, and, you know, coming up with your own unique teams and stuff. I just hope KOF 15 feels more like 15 and less like 14.5, if you know what I mean. Uh, so it should be good. Um, I think it's it's the smart thing for SNK to do right now, um, since they're, you know, borrowing some aspects of the KOF 14 engine. Obviously, um, it's actually a smart thing to do. It's what they did for so many years with the 2D sprites. So they're going to reuse some things. It's what all 3D fighting games do. It's what Tekken does, Soul Calibur. And by doing that, they're going to be able to spend time creating new characters. And I think probably KOF 15 is going to have a huge roster. Um, so that's my my first prediction. And that's a good thing for the game, I think. So, hey, you know I'll be covering uh, all KOF 15 news and character reveals on Fighters Generation News. So stay tuned every week. I mean... Looks like SNK is going to release a character trailer every week until the release of the game. So, hey, props to SNK for keeping it real and bringing us a new game in 2021. Also really excited for uh, Chamu Chamu, one of my old mains in uh, SS2. I used uh, Genjiro, Ukyo, Earthquake, and Cham Cham. And Galford. Those are, I used a lot of characters in uh, Sam Show too. But she was always one of my favorites. And uh, she looks really good. I'll, I'll go back to Sam Show 2019. Uh, I'll go back and play some Jam Jam. We'll make a video or two. So look forward to that. I like how she looks. Always liked her uh, design. And I always wanted Last Blade versus Samurai Showdown. So Hibiki is a cool choice for the game. Uh, I'm glad to see her uh, step out of uh, CVS2. It was like her last appearance. <laughs> so that's probably why she made it in. But yeah, man, you know, SNK, they're definitely thinking outside the box, doing some new things. Season Pass 3, great to see uh, not all, you know, fighting games make it to uh, Season 3. So, you know, definitely glad to see Samurai Shadowen still alive and well. Really looking forward to Guilty Gear Strive. I think it's going to be a great game. I think it's going to be one of the games to play 
this year, the fighting game. Um, after playing the beta for Strive, had a lot of fun with the beta. So I'm definitely going to buy Strive and uh, try to get good. I'm going to try to get good at a Guilty Gear game like for the first time in my life. So hopefully, you know, I think the, the mechanics are going to cater to new players to, you know, seems like Arc System Works wants new players to kind of jump in. Uh, players from, you know, various uh, experience levels. So there's a lot of characters I want to learn and strive. But uh, also, before I forget, uh, got some pretty good news. Um, pretty cool start to my year, actually. I got to have an interview with Arc System Works on Guilty Year Strive. I sent them my questions uh, just a few days ago, and they're going to get back to me soon. So stay tuned on Fighters Generation for my exclusive interview with Arc System Works. Really excited about that. Anyways, I'm trying to keep this video short uh, since it's my first vlog back in a long time. Uh, I will return to my top 10 fighting games list. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna talk too much about that. I'll make a separate video about that. I also wanna talk about my next vlog, what that's gonna be about. It is the 10th anniversary of Steve Fox Epic Dodges from 2011. I love you guys who uh, you know, may even know me from making that video. Uh, I have another one planned, worry not. I promise you, I will release Steve Fox Epic Dodges 2021. I had one planned last year, as you may know. Had to postpone it because 2020 happened. So I kind of uh, fell out of love with video editing a little bit. I just don't have the time that I used to. Um, but making that video, I had something to prove. And I wanted to prove to the world that Tekken is a great game. And I believe I did that. Uh, got a ton of comments uh, saying how you know my video got them into Tekken. Um, and that's amazing to me. So, uh, you know, I, I don't feel like I have to present Tekken in that way anymore. It, it kind of stands on its own now, if you will. That was my deep inspiration for creating those videos. Um, you know, people used to talk a lot of trash about Tekken because they didn't know how to play it. They were just used to 2D fighting games. And I wanted to demonstrate how non-2D Tekken can be. So that's why I made, uh, you know, those Epic Dodges compilations. I will make a new one in 2021. Worry not, it will be made. Um, but I'll need some time in the editing lab However, I won't leave you empty-handed, so you know, check this out. I've got more content coming soon. Uh, so thanks for your patience and uh, stay tuned for more. So I've got one final announcement to make. 
after working on the fighter's generation for 20 plus years here in 2021 i have finally opened a patreon for fighters gen uh, it's live right now the link is in this video description i'm still setting everything up and planning but give it a look and if you guys want to get in early uh, I, I got some cool things planned. I think it'll be a, a great thing for everyone in the community. So check it out, please. Uh, I appreciate you just considering uh, supporting me. Now, you guys know what has happened to uh, other fan websites. Uh, you know, Tekken Zaibatsu is one. Um, they don't exist anymore. So, you know, I, I need your support to uh, keep this going. So uh, consider checking it out. And uh, I will be talking to you guys in the near future. Um, you guys know you want those, uh, want to make those dragons happy. So, <laughs> finally, I'm able to stream Dreamcast, PS1, and Saturn games. So, I've got a lot of ideas. Uh, I will be doing many more streams of uh, classic fighting games, not just Tekken. So thanks all of you who do comment on uh, my videos and my posts on Twitter and Instagram. I love all of you. You guys entertain me and uh, I hope we can keep this going. You know, I, you know, I'll make a vlog and you guys entertain me in return so that we should have that kind of deal going. I think that's fair. So thanks in advance for your comments and your likes. I'll be back with another video very soon and lower your expectations. <laughs> See you guys later.